start this overall thoughts on the um game? you know i don't know if there's a little bit of me that's is pleased that we won eight matches but there's part of me going um, we wrestled we wrestled to to maybe our opponent a little bit more than i wanted to um, in some of our matches some of our matches we turned some losses around and won that we lost down there um, and then some of them were just common sense lost at 65 it's common sense you know you got a guy that's it's head spinning right now and I just took him down and and you know he's you know and he just turns and grabs our leg you know if you're gonna cut him cut him get away from him make him build up you know and, and it took uh, I really felt like Wyatt was in a in a position to maybe retake that match over you know but uh, just some some common sense some just some mental awareness on the mat um, but uh, looking at the uh, Carter Young, good effort. Two takedowns in the two takedowns in the second period. Out scrambled him in both of them. Things that we've been talking about. Uh, uh, escape in the, in in uh, forced uh, forced escape. Basically, the guy had to let him go. You know, uh, just 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 overall solid effort. I don't know where the penalty point came. You know, the one thing that was happening all night that they were blowing the whistle while our feet were still on. You know, um, and I don't know if you saw that position where Carter reversed him, about ready to take him to the, they're on the mat. They're on the freaking mat. I mean, you know, one toe, one toe, one foot, anything on the mat, it's on the mat. It's not off the mat. You know, a number of times we saw that tonight, you know, and not just for us, but for also against them, you know. Uh, so, you know the difference. If you're off the mat, everything's off. If there's anything on in a scramble suspicion, focus on what you're doing and make sure that you make the right calls. You know, so uh, uh, those are critical moments in matches that can make a difference for you, you know. I mean, you know, one scenario like that where Carter, you know, reversing him and it looked like, uh oh, uh, bam, they're blowing the mat and they're halfway on the mat. You know, so anyway, um, Kate and G felt a tough match. Victor coming back and, and winning the match, he lost uh, in, in Norman, you know. Uh, Dustin Plott, I thought, did well. Liked what I saw. Uh, Travis Woodlake, uh, I'd like to see a little bit more, but uh, they, they pulled they pulled uh, Keegan Moore down um, uh, from, from 97, and uh, Travis... Uh, when it got tough, and, that, and then they're taking timeouts to go review something. And you're gonna spend five minutes reviewing something, right? And you're gonna spend five minutes reviewing something that you made the call to review, and you come back and go, what? You better be reviewing something in a critical moment like that, that you, you can turn over, there was a mistake made. You know, instead, you know, I mean, this is critical, right? We got the, 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 the four to five minute break, you know, when we're, we're counting on uh, conditioning, we're counting on, you know, finishing this thing out. He did a nice job though with finishing it out, even, even with, with five minute break. But if you're gonna go check on something, well, go get it done. Why is it taking five minutes? Literally, why? I mean, is that our fault? Is, was, was we not ready over there, our, our, our review people? Um, and the last two matches, I uh, wish we could put on a little bit of better show at the end, but uh, for Doucette, good win, beating number 15, and and knowing uh, what, what you got to do in the match to get your hand raised. Okay, go ahead. So because they pulled Keegan down, you know, uh, Serber got an old teammate. It looked like yeah, I mean, th those guys probably had a pretty good book on each other. I mean, they ain't no oh, telling how many my times. Server. Nope. Okay. No. Well, no, 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 no. My point is, is uh, those are two different kids coming out of college, high school. And, and, and the one we got yeah. was way better. So I, I give credit to Barry Hill. I mean, I, I was expecting maybe big points. And it didn't come, but those are hard, right? Those are hard when you're wrestling an old teammate and you got nothing to gain from it. You know that you know 
Uh, everybody's expected to major sin or pin. You got to you got to be violent almost. Like these situations aren't good. You got to go beat these situations and pound the hell out of them because you hate that I, I, I'm pissed off. I'm in this situation. You know. Um, so, you know, you, you really got to be violent or you could slip up and 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 choke down your choke down your tongue and 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 not recover. You talk about those those matches that you guys flipped the script from Norman. Obviously big considering this is the last opportunity for Big 12 seeding to yep. kind of get your, your opportunities to, to work your way into mm -hmm. a better spot come Tulsa. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, big, big nice win for Carter. Yeah. For Caden. Of course he won last time. The rest of them, they're different guys. They wrestle different guys. So. Could have helped uh, Reese. I'm a little bit worried about Reese now. He's now he's in a position where he's going to have to steal, steal something at nationals or at the Big 12. When I say, don't mean by stealing, but uh, he's going to have to take over someone's spot. Yeah, if he doesn't do that, he won't go to nationals. Coach, you but if you're not going, you got you got to be ready to compete. You got to be ready to wrestle. And if you're not going to do that, don't go to nationals. Yeah, sit up there and watch. Coach, that was one of the questions I had. You asked a pretty much answered about Carter and the uh, takedown at the end of the mat. It looked like to be two, but was ruled not to. But off of that topic, do you think he wrestled a full match, which has mm -hmm. been one of your critiques? Okay. Mm -hmm. How yeah. so? I'd like to see him um, us develop his strategy a little bit more on, on as he's winning the match, late in the match. What, what do we want to do? What do you want to do? I thought he did a fine job defending, you know. Um, I thought I thought for the most part uh, it was one of his complete matches. Yeah. Are you seeing a different mindset from him? Finally, do you feel? No. He's just, so he's just he's doing just, better on the mat, not necessarily. Yeah. He's just kind of la la. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, did, I'd like for him some sometimes to just say, just cuss at me, not cuss at me. He don't need to cuss at me, but just just get angry with me. Yeah, maybe even push me. Like when you mentioned that he had a losing record, and he yeah, just, he just push me or just <laughs> you know something. You know, he's he's a good kid. You know, I'm not. Yeah, he's a good kid. I just I just think that. You know, to get your to get your your best out of yourself, there's got to be. Uh, I want him to see him. You know, I want him to feel pain when he loses. I want him to feel disappointment. I want him to be driven off of those losses. And I think he does it in a quiet way a little bit, but not as much as I want. I want him. I want him to look at that match and go, "On how could I have stretched that out? How could I've made sure that that um, uh, maybe picking up a third third point third takedown in the third while he's his opponents on pursuit of the takedown, you know, just pushing himself a little bit more towards regaining points and and, and trying to separate yourself a little bit. And obviously, you, you've seen but, some. No, I've seen better, but but it's it's we've seen this, you know. I yeah. mean, it's South Dakota State last week. Huh, what are you doing? Well, with, with the fact that he's he's he you got to be in a certain guys, mood. What what is it? <laughs> Well, that's, I mean, as a coach, is it, is it, I, I know the answer is probably to this already, but when he, he beats a couple of top ten guys, knowing that he can be that good, if he can get that mindset just right yeah. where you want it, how dangerous he could be on the yeah. map for you guys. Well, I just, I mean, one, is in his second year, right? And you don't have a lot of room. You're going to wrestle a lot of tough matches. You're not going to separate scores by six, eight points with, at 141. You're going to battle a lot of matches, and you're going to learn how to battle these matches and win every one of them, or, or, or you know, 95% of them, 90% of them, you know. And if you're winning 90% of them, you're standing on that platform, you know. And, and so just just making sure that he recognizes that uh, that's a lot closer to what we hope to see and, and, and be a little bit more consistent with it. And when you come off these big wins, who are you? Who are you? Right? I mean, try to be a big boy. And I'm going to go and do it again, coach. I'm going to go do this again, you know. So, um, anyway.
Senior night. Get a little deeper than I wanted. <laughs> Senior night. Uh, if you don't mind giving a quick comment on all the wrestlers you Yeah, you know, uh, Wyatt, Caden, they're very great guys. Caden uh, coming back, you know, um, having a daughter and, and, and making the commitment to coming back. I mean, it, it was big for us, you know. Uh, we were in a little bit of a position that wasn't good. We, you know, we just lost a. Uh, our top uh, recruit at, at that weight, you know, that, uh, and uh, we, we were we were in trouble. And he came back, and uh, and really he's having uh, one of his better years as far as discipline wise. You know, he likes food. <laughs> That's why he's always wrestled the weight up. He loves food. <laughs> You know, he weighed 190 when he came in August. Oh, he said 200? Yeah, yeah 200. We're really proud of him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he got it off. He did? Yeah, slowly. Got to be careful because there's a descent plan. Oh, well, it's you, sooner than you thought, though. Yeah. You never had the dad bod, though, when you had kids? Huh? You never ended up getting the dad bod when you had kids? No. I was coaching. I was always nervous. <laughs> Coach, what about guys like Sticka and uh, Harper? And yeah, Sticka, Harper, you know, you think of those guys, and, uh, and and they didn't get to wrestle a lot, but they're seniors graduating. Sticka um, and uh, Ag uh, plans to be a, get into the meat business, and, um, and Harper in business. Um, great guys, you know, they've been some of my best, my, some of my best um, alumni. You know, some of my best alumni are, are some of the guys that didn't get to wrestle a whole lot. And so it tells you a little bit about Oklahoma State wrestling and, and what I'm uh, a fortunate thing I've been blessed to be a part of for so long. Coach, you guys. Um, and then the last one, um, Harper. Who? Jalen. Yeah, Jalen. Jalen and Gavin. Four. Who's the fourth one? White. White. Wyatt, yeah, from Wyatt, you know, uh, what a crazy career he had that uh, it looks like and appears to be his, one of his better years right now. Coach, you consistently talk about, you know, G. Felder's grit. Um, you know, 30 minutes, or 30 seconds left, excuse me, and it's in the final period. He goes out, gets a four-point near fall, and a takedown, I think, and then, you know, obviously gets a major decision. Does that encapsulate it? Is that what? Encapsulate it. Yeah. He did a good job. I think he expects to do that against this guy. You know, doesn't take it for granted. Knows it's hard. Uh, did a nice job of separating the score. Ended up scored being 14 to three. You know, and uh, after the first period, it was uh, three to three. Did you know that? Did you? What did you say? Three three after the first period. Yeah. You know, and ends up fourteen to three. So in the four minutes, four minutes, you know, he scores eleven points to zero. Keep doing that, buddy. <laughs> Last question for me. Um, you know, obviously Thursday night where considerable uh, crowd tonight. Were you impressed by it? Yeah, was pleased, real pleased with the crowd. You know, and um, it wasn't. Uh, it took a little bit away from our, our alumni uh, event that we normally have. And, in the end, uh, you know, our Gallagher uh, recipient, uh, Ricky Stewart, guys, that guy was my hero when I was growing up. I mean, he had one of the greatest fireman's carries of, of anyone I've ever seen. And, and uh, I, as a kid watching him, um, I developed my fireman's carry because of him. I wanted one like it, and, and I had one that I used often and won me a lot of matches. Um, and, and just what he's gone through in the short moment, um, late in his life, you know, you think you're gonna ride out and enjoy. Um, this guy um, had a rough go in the last two years and just tougher than hell. He's tough, man, tough guy. So I'm glad, not only did he, he, he didn't get it because of the, the, what happened to him. He really received it because of the man he was following college, had wrestled, coached, wrestled at OSU, coached at OSU, coached at Notre Dame, coached at Oregon, you know, and coached uh, one more school. Um, 
Huh? Clemson. Clemson. You know, he spent a lot of years out there away from home and came back and, and finished up at Duncan. He was an athletic director. At Duncan. Athletic yeah. director at Duncan, where he grew up. He was up. in school with me. He did? Yeah. We were in Iowa together. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Love that guy. So glad that, that, that the committee picked him. Good. You guys are now, you guys are now 149 and 27 against OU. Just what does that continued success against your in-state rival mean? We win battle. You know, I mean, you have to have an attitude if you're going to be little cocky words that you say. You have to have an attitude if you're going to say it. I tell my guys all the time, we win battle, but you got to, you got to have an attitude. If we're going to go around saying that. You know, and I think for the most part, uh, it kind of something that um, there's a level of spirit about it, and, and there's a level of uh, you know, there's a level of comfort knowing that uh, uh, a lot of past teams have done really well. You know, and let me tell you something: try losing one. You know, that's not good. You know, so uh, let, let me share it with you. You know, those those. Lopsided victories over over the years has caused some really really good wrestlers. Yeah, sure made me look good, Coach. I uh, went back and watched uh, you know because obviously it's Iowa week. I went back and watched the match that you referenced, uh, the Greg Randall match. Mm -hmm. And uh, not to put you on the spot, but was that the only match that you ever walked off the mat mm -hmm. crying? Or did that match? Just I was crying. Crazy, did you say crying? <laughs> tears from the. Did people. I have tears? Yeah. You can tell me. <laughs> I like this. Yeah, um, it, yeah. I think a lot of it was a, a combination of being injured and, and knowing I just hurt my team, yeah. giving up six points. You know, when we think, when we really thought we could win the dual meet. You know, so uh, that's the only time I, I can ever remember. Uh, now I've been pinned before when I was younger and I had to walk off the mat, but um, never an injury. Yeah, and uh, really the, the, the experience, the experience really helped me grow though. You know, something that, um, <clears throat> something that made a difference in, in my career as I went forward, yeah. Something that you're saying I'm never gonna let. I, I relaxed in that match, and, and that's, that's the reason I went up in the air and had my arm trapped and got slammed on my shoulder, because I relaxed, so. Anyway, thanks guys. Thanks,